Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial with Oscar Lars Painting Studio. If there's one faction in the Mortal Realms that has me going, it's Nurgle. And we're getting a book and that means it's time to paint some Nurgle. So, we made a tutorial that focuses on how to paint the Mortal Blightkin Nurgle skin, the sort of bruised and you know dead and has a lot of source and pustulence on it so this is going to focus on the actual skin tone and we hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial let's begin in the first step we will cover the entire skin in a base coat of rhinox hide and nagaroth knight we are looking for a dominant purple in this mix cover all skin with this mix two thin coats to make sure we don't clog any detail now we're going to add in some flesh tone and magenta into this mix. We apply this liberally to block in and define the light and reflective light of the model. We are leaving the base coat mostly in really dark places like armpits and close to other things such as straps and armor. As you can see I'm applying this into some of the shadow areas as well. And this is where you can find reflective light. So under the belly flap, for example, and in between the arm and the side of his torso. We add a bit more of the flesh and magenta tones and a bit of the mood green into this mix. This creates a really nice drab gross skin tone. And this mix we're going to add to where the light would hit the most. This is the first step into actually rendering the skin. So keep this away from all shadow areas and focus mainly on areas uh, of the top of the model, like a Senethal style application. I am not defining any of the muscles yet, as you can see up top here. Right now I'm ignoring all of the micro shadows. And now we are at a great base stage and we will start to render the skin with a smaller brush. I'm using a size 1 here to get more control over the application. Next up we're going to add some more bright store skin tone and that means more flesh tone, more magenta to keep the saturation. We're also going to add a bit more uh, of the mood green and lastly we're going to add some sunny skin tone to get the yellow in which we will balance really nicely with the purple. I am now feathering this application onto the model, going back and forth in tiny strokes with the tip of the brush. This application will focus a lot on volume and the contrast between the previous layer on, and the application now is very high. The skin is now really taking shape and the next step is to smooth things out a bit. We are here mixing in some wog flesh into the previous mix on the palette and this will be a really nice transition color between the shadow area and the lit area. I'm applying this carefully on the transition line. This instantly helped to get a more smoother transition between the shadow and the light areas. I'm also applying this in some of the reflective areas. This really helps to bring interest and a different color into the skin tone and the shadow areas. Next step is to brighten up the lit skin areas a little bit more and thus we add more flesh tone, magenta, green and sunny skin tone to the previous mix. I apply this carefully and make sure that I don't cover up any of the previous work that we've done so far. Here I'm applying the paint to the side of his back. I then dip my brush into the green mix from the previous layer, the one where we covered up the transition line, and I apply it to the wet paint edge to help smooth the transition into where the arm is starting to cover up the side of his torso. This is a quick wet blending technique, and since we're painting skin, and more specifically sickly skin, it can be a little bit blotchy, that's totally fine. And again here we add more brights to the skin and we should start to get quite a nice bright skin tone here to start defining more features of it. I add these in according to the same layering technique that we just did uh, but a bit more of a thinner paint. So it's like half glaze and I applied this a few times over and over and over again. And once again we've reached a stage where it's time to smooth things out a little bit more and that means that this time we're gonna start doing a little bit of a glaze. 
And for this, I will go in and add some wog flesh and lamia medium together to create a thin wog flesh glaze. So we apply this glaze very thinly and make sure you don't have the glaze pool anywhere. This will smooth things out and help to get rid of a little bit of that overly blotchy look. After the glaze has fully dried, we go in and mix in another bright uh, skin tone and we will define the sculpt a little bit more. So I apply this carefully to areas I want to emphasize such as the edges, bumps and light points. When I was doing a lot of research on sickly skin from different diseases, for my own Nurgle project, I noticed that there's texture in most of the skin tones that uh, showed up in my research. So I decided that when I started doing my own uh, skin tone for my Nurgle mortals, I wanted to try to keep that sort of texture in play. Now it's important not to overdo this texture, but having a little bit of that blotchiness and different you know, colors that comes into play around, that will benefit this greatly. And the last thing I want to do on this guy's skin here is to add a little bit of a thin glaze of pure mood green into select reflective light areas. This really helps to bring out some of the, the shadow areas, make them more interesting, and it also makes him look extra gross and have a little bit of that fungi ridden feel to him. So, so as you can see here, I'm adding this to underneath the arm, underneath the belly flap, on the side of his torso. So don't overdo this stage, but just a little bit here and there will add a little bit more interest to the model. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial on Nurgle Mortal Skin. If you have any questions about the tutorial or anything you'd like to share with us, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. This video was made possible by our amazing patrons who kindly donate to keep this public project going. If you want to become a patron, don't hesitate to head over to our Patreon page and pledge a subscription. We post some longer videos for more in-depth uh, uh, when we have extra materials to spare. You can also contribute by shopping some Oscar Lars Painting Studio merchandise. The links to these are down in the video description. Intro video was created by Robbie Shillstone. Editing was done by the amazing Martin Kramer. The sculpt used in this video was a Blightkin from the Warhammer Age of Sigmar by Games Workshop. Palette and brushes are from Redgrass Games and Windsor Newton. Please don't forget to smash those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching and happy painting!